comments. Uh, how many people in here are Republicans? Looking at you, mustache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, congratulations on being one of the only Republicans that's ever come to a library. <laughs> congratulations on that. Um, I, uh, I like to uh, argue with Republicans on Facebook. It's one of my favorite pastimes. If you're not my Facebook friend, um, join up. Uh, Facebook.com slash Daybot for all the best in political arguments with idiots. Um, I had a gentleman tell me, uh, after saying many homophobic things and uh, saying that basically what his, his stance on gay people is that they are perverted deviants that uh, do not deserve any special rights or privileges because they are choosing to be homosexual and, uh, and, and they don't. They're, they're, and, and then he said that he's not a homophobe because homophobia is a word that was made up by liberals to shame people that disapprove of the gay lifestyle into thinking that they're doing something wrong. So he couldn't possibly be a homophobe because homophobia is a made up word. To which I replied, well then you're not a human being or a man or a person either because all words are made up. <laughs> you goddamn idiot. Um, I don't understand the whole homosexuality is a choice thing, the people that say it's a choice. First of all, even if it is a choice, that still doesn't give you the right to take away their rights. All right? One. And two, the only people that say homosexuality is a choice are saying that because they had to make that choice. You know why I know homosexuality isn't a choice? Because when I was 10 years old, I realized I liked girls, not boys. I didn't have to consciously make that decision. I grew up with a bunch of kids. I mean, we all grew up with at least one or two kids. The, like, the girl that played with, uh, you know, that, that wanted to play with G.I. Joes all the time, and she always wanted to play sports. He grew up with the kid that always wanted to play with his sister's dolls and play dress-up and wear makeup and stuff. And then 10, 15 years later, you find out that they're gay, and you're like, oh, well, no big surprise there, because when they were 8 years old, they were displaying gay behavior. It's not something that an 8-year-old child decides to do one day. An 8-year-old doesn't decide about their sexuality. So that's obviously there's something there. It's genetic. And these people are like, oh, it's a choice. It's a choice. These people had to make that choice. That's the only reason they're saying that. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, everyone, everyone looks at a dude sometimes and wants to fuck him. <laughs> that happens to everyone. I mean, we've all seen a really handsome man and wanted to fuck him in the mouth. We chose not to. We decided consciously not to and pretend to like women and get married to that woman and then open up a counseling service that helps gay people not be gay anymore. <laughs> Moved to Minnesota. Marcus Bachman, of course I'm talking about. Marcus Bachman, uh, the uh, husband of Michelle Bachman. Um, I don't know if you, if you heard anything about this guy, but uh, he runs a counseling service that helps pray away the gay, you know? Uh, helps people uh, rehabilitate from, not, from being gay to straight. Um, which essentially just means somebody who's pretending to be straight and is still really fucking gay. Um, but Marcus Bachman, I, I'll, I'll paraphrase here, but he said uh, when, when, when asked about this controversial uh, counseling service he had, he said, well, people need to understand that these barbarians need to be educated. These sweaty barbarians need to be, somebody needs to get between them and separate them. You know, like these... Sweaty men with their shirts off, all wrestling together and stuff. Somebody needs to get in there and tell them they're bad. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what he said. And I don't understand. I don't understand the people that like you meet that are just like, oh, I fucking hate fags. I hate them. I hate them. When you ever put one of those guys aside and just be like, hey, why do you hate gay people so much? They always be like, well, I don't like to think about two men fucking each other, man. I don't think about dick, dick slamming into assholes. I don't like to think about that every single waking moment of my life. I don't think about two men fucking man. I don't like to think about that when I'm trying to feed my kids or take my, take my kids to soccer practice or make love to my wife or go to sleep at night or just work in my office. I don't like to think about two men fucking each other, man. I don't like to think about two men kissing each other in the mouth if they're 
Stubble rubbing against Stubble and their bare hairless chest pressed up against one another. Six pack abs rubbing against six pack abs and beads of sweat running down their masculine form as they embrace each other in the moonlight by the fireplace. And look into each other's eyes and fall asleep in each other's arms. Wake up in the morning and look into each other's eyes and know what true love feels like. It's goddamn beautiful. I mean, gross and wrong. I hate facts. So I can get around that. You know what, I can hang out with a gay guy and I can sit down to dinner with a gay guy, I can be friends with a gay guy for the same reason I can sit down to dinner with my grandparents. I know they had to fuck sometime too, I just don't want to think about it while I'm putting gravy on my mashed potatoes. <laughs> Especially if it's country gravy and it's all lumpy and chunky. <laughs> See, gay guys are cool and easygoing and laid back and fun to be around because they don't have to put up with women's crazy bullshit all the time. <laughs> Which is consequently the same exact reason why lesbians are twice as pissed off as regular women. If you don't believe me, just watch the lesbians beating the shit out of me out in the parking later. With their bowling bags or their softball cleats or their acoustic guitars. Before they head up back to Eagle, Wisconsin. That's where the lesbians come from. Man, it's a good thing the Pope doesn't coach football, huh? He'd be getting a lot of shit right now. Fucking ridiculous. That's all they're talking about. Uh, all they're talking about is Joe Paterno and Jerry Sandusky and all these eight kids got molested. And oh my God, what are they going to do? It's, it's, it's the football team is crushed. And the I don't know if you heard, the Pope said that pedophilia was cool back in the day. He actually came out the other day and the Pope said, I don't see what all the big fuss is about. Back in my day, fucking kids was cool. I swear to God, the Pope actually said that. He also said that child porn's no big deal. So, way to go, Pope. But then again, he was a Nazi, so I don't know what you can expect from him. Um, so, uh, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like each, each individual table deserves their own joke 